Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the brand new video into my channel, Vipex. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix out the low GPU and the high CPU usage while you're gaming on your PC in all the games. So, guys, before starting out this video, this is your first time here on my channel, Vipex. So, guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification. Therefore, you never miss out any next video update from my this channel. So, guys, with this thing and time, let's go straight into this video. So guys, first I just clear out to you why this is happening on your PC. Guys, this is happened because of your hardware issues like if your CPU is bottlenecking your GPU or your GPU is bottlenecking your CPU. And also guys, it depend on also on the game which you are playing like guys Fortnite. So it is the online multiplayer game and guys, it is really depend on your CPU, not guys hardly on your GPU. So therefore, it is also uh, cause the low GPU usage and the high CPU usage on your PC. So before this build which I have right now which is the i7 3770 and the 1650 Super DDR6 4GB graphics card. Before this build I have the i5 2500K which is the low specs uh, PC and also I have the RX 560 GPU but still now I have a good PC. So on my previous build I have a really guys high CPU usage and the low GPU usage because of my uh, CPU is bottlenecking my GPU into the Fortnite. So guys, I just suggest you to guys upgrade your CPU or you can also use this settings for right now. It is also help out you to fixing out your this problem. So guys, the first and the most important step which is guys make sure to update your driver of your GPU which you are using like if you are using the Nvidia or the AMD so just go into the descriptions of my this video update your driver of your GPU so just after updating your GPU now you need to just create a powerful power plan and just do some modification into it so first of all just go here into the window search and just type here power and sleep settings so here is the option which is the system settings so go here into this go into the additional power settings and here is the guys high performance power plan you can also create a new power plan but windows by default give you the high performance power plan if you not select out the high performance so when you click onto the show additional plans so you will get these options here so just select out the high performance power plan just select out the high performance power plan now go here for the change power plan and just set it onto the never now go here for the advanced settings and here is the main thing so guys first the most important thing you need to just go into the processor power management here guys minimum processor state and here is the maximum power state guys if you have the uh lower than the i7 gpu so just guys then follow out this method so you need to just simply change out this value and just set it on to the 95 percent so just simply type in 95 and apply the settings but i have a good cpu which is the i7 3770 which have eight threads so therefore i am not applying the settings if you have a good cpu so not apply the settings just select out the best high performance power plan and just simply quit the site so guys, just after doing the first step now we are going to go for the second step which is guys you need to just simply clear out all of the temporary files so just go into the video search and just type here run and now guys simply just type here percentage local app data percentage and click ok here is the window of the local app data sections find out the temporary so here is guys temporary files just delete all of these files from here just press ctrl a from your keyboard and delete all of these files from here So guys just after doing it it will also give you some errors so just skip out it it will not deleting out the files because it is using in our background so just after doing out it now go into the recycle bin and also clear out your recycle bin so just guys after doing this step now you need to just go for the next step which is guys select that specific game in your gpu list so go into the display settings just right click on your desktop go for the display settings go into the graphic settings and from here you need to just simply select out the desktop applications go for the browse sections and locate out your fortnite or any other games launcher which you are playing so just here is the fortnite client win64 shipping so just i am selecting out the first file if you are play gta 5 so just simply select out the gta 5 launcher from its directory and just after simply click onto the add button so i have already added my fortnite here into this list Go for the Fortnite options and set it onto the performance. Save out the settings and simply close out it. Now guys, next step is you need to simply set out your window settings for the best performance. 
for the gaming so just go into the uh, properties of your windows so here is guys option which is the advanced system settings from here just select out the advanced system settings and here is the guys performance settings just select out it onto the custom and just select out the animate control and the element inside windows smooth edges of the fonts and show thumbnails instead of the icon just check mark here onto these options click apply and just hit ok just after doing out the settings now guys here is the most important settings for your cpu to fixing out the high cpu usage so just go into the device manager of your pc just right click here go for the manage button and now find out the device manager from this list and now find out for the system devices so here is the devices now from here you need to just find out the high precision event timer just right click here and disable this device from this list just after doing out this method guys your high cpu usage problem will be fixed out and guys for fixing out your gpu you can also do this extra step you can use the afterburner for guys increasing the performance of your gpu and it will guys really help out you so just simply download and install the msi afterburner for downloading it just go into the google chrome and just uh, type here into the main search bar msi afterburner download and here is the guys first option which is the msi afterburner i will also give you the link of the msi afterburner you can easily directly download it from my description link down there So guys just click here on this download button it will take some time to downloading it it is 48 mp file so just click on the start button and it will guys take some time to downloading this file on your pc so guys just after simply installing the msi afterburner on your pc so here is the interface of the msi afterburner you already watch this interface so from here you need to just do some a simple change which is the guys power limit so just set out your power limit which is the 100 by default so just set it onto the 100 and the 10 percent and just simply save out your these settings just click here on this uh, save button and just minimize this in your background just guys simply now launch out your game and enjoy the best performance of your gpu and also your cpu in all the games so guys i hope that this video really helped out you so guys fixing out your problem and guys thanks for watching so guys till the next video allah hafiz and bye bye ड्रॉप कर दी मैंने लोग क्या बैठ चाहिए किसी को बॉक्स कर दे यार बस लूट चाहिए या